Greetings, young men. This is Principal Kefele. I'm standing here outside of my Tacoma, Washington hotel. I'm getting ready to go speak to a school full of educators. It's early in the morning, but I'm pumped. I'm on fire. I'm ready to go, but let me tell you something. Yesterday, late last night, I flew six hours from New Jersey to Seattle. Then after landing in Seattle, after that long six hour flight, then I had to drive for another half hour to 45 minutes. Got very little sleep. But now I got this four hour presentation to do with very little sleep. But like I said before, I'm pumped. I'm excited. I'm on fire. I'm blazing. I'm ready to go. I got no time to be lazy. Once again, I've got no time to be lazy. So the theme of this message this morning is to you that you have no time to be lazy because lazy just won't cut it. Once again, laziness just won't cut it. What I'm saying to you young men, yeah, there are going to be times you're going to get tired. There are going to be times you feel overwhelmed. There are going to be times when you just don't feel like doing the things you need to do to get to the next level, to get to where you need to be. But I'm saying to you, you can't be lazy. You can't decide that I'll put it off for another time. Lazy and success are incompatible. You can't talk success and then you lazy. You want to lay around and sleep all day. You want to lay around and watch TV. You want to lay around and listen to the music. You want to lay around and do nothing. No, nah, no. Nah. If you're going to be successful, regardless of how tired you are, regardless of how tired your body might be, regardless of how fatigued you may feel, you've got to still do the work. You've still got to put forth the effort. You've still got to get up and do your thing and be on your grind. See, I could easily say, oh, man, how am I going to get through the day and call a client and say, I just can't do it. Six hours sitting there with a with, with sitting up straight up, upright with a seat in front of you, recline in your lap and you can't hardly move about. That's enough to really wear you out. That's harder than running a mile around or four miles around a track. But I, nobody wants to hear that I'm lazy. They want to hear that I'm ready. They want to hear that I'm pumped. They want to hear that I'm on fire. So I'm saying to you. You can't be lazy and expect to be successful. You can't expect laziness to set in and you think that there's going to be success on the other side. No, nah, no, nah, you do the work. And I don't just mean for your success. I mean whatever. Your mother might say take out the garbage. Well, then do it. Don't talk about you tired, you lazy. Your mother might say wash the clothes. Well, do it. Your mother might say clean the house, vacuum the floor, mop the floor, take out the garbage, whatever. Well, then do it. Don't talk about you lazy. Don't talk about you tired with your young self. Just get up and get it done. You too young to be lazy. Harriet Tubman once said that she wasn't tired. And if folks, and if she was tired, folks didn't know about it. She wasn't going to show nobody that she was tired. So I'm saying to you, you don't show anybody that you're tired. And you certainly don't demonstrate laziness. Successful people aren't lazy. They just get up off their behinds and they work, work, work. Yeah, they get adequate rest when they need to, but they work. They make it happen. So, young man, laziness won't cut it. Being lazy won't cut it. Not if you expect to live a successful life. So, let's go. Enough said. Let's make it happen. Let's go. Let's do it. This is Principal Kefele. Thanks for listening. Peace.